My name is Alan Hart and today I'm going to give you my opinion on blow lamps. So on the left here we have the Nirad blow lamp and then we have the Rothenberger in the middle and the Monument one to the right hand side. So first of all we're going to start with the Nirad blow lamp. So the first thing to point out about the Nirad blow lamp is that this is actually the newest of these three blow lamps and it actually looks from the outside of it it looks the oldest. One thing I do like about this blow lamp is that when you run this blow lamp and then you turn it off the tip of it is cold so if you lent it onto a carpet or something like that then you won't have a problem with it burning it. Also if you drop any solder down the end of this you can just take this apart and it'll just sit onto there and then you can just pull this out and you can just clean the solder off and then you can just start working again which that's a very very good um, feature of this blow lamp so we're just going to turn the flame up and down now and then we'll just turn it upside down and see how it performs so we'll just adjust the flame a little bit upside down it all seems to be just staying where we want it to be, to be honest, it's, uh, I like that, it's uh, very good. So testing the button now, it all seems to work as it should, there's no issues with that. It still feels strong, it's all tight, there's no loose on it. One thing to bear in mind is that screw there, make sure you keep that screw tight. I'm not certain but I believe that's some sort of pressure relief part of the blow lamp there so make sure you take your pressure out of it when you when it's not in use. So we've got the Rothenberger blow lamp here, the Superfire 2. So just test button here. All in all this feels uh, very good quality in your hand when you've got hold of it. It adjusts and works and it's controlled just how you want it to be so there's no issues with that and the tip is very hot so you won't want to be leaning that onto a carpet so if we turn it upside down we'll check it upside down again it feels good quality the flame is doing what we want it to do it adjusts and stays where we want it to stay while it's upside down So it just all works as you would expect it to work, does that? Very good, very good blow lamp. So now we've got the Monument blow lamp. So this has been my personal blow lamp for the last couple of years. So the button on this one doesn't seem as good as the other blow lamps. Also this plastic on this nut, it just feels cheap, it doesn't feel the quality of the other two. So now we're going to test the button action on this and the and the flame. So as you can see on this, the button the button does tend to stick quite a bit. So the flame on this all adjusts and works as it should and it stays where it is and even when you turn it um, upside down it still performs well. So the flame picture all performs really well but as we can see again here the button is sticking
and when you look at the tip on these the tip is very hot just like the Rothenberg one really very hot indeed so all in all I like the Nurad cool tip I think that's a very good feature of the Nurad blow lamp the Nurad one does feel very good quality in your hand um, but for me I think the Rothenberger would win if I was going to spend my own money today on a blow lamp having tested all these three here I would choose the Rothenberger thank you for taking the time to watch our video please add your comments below and let us know what you think and which blow lamp you think is best thank you